Hello guys! We all know how much time we can spend immersed in YouTube videos, but let's be honest. How much of that knowledge sticks with us after a few weeks, days, or even just hours? How much of that valuable information do you truly retain and can actually put to use? Try to estimate it. Would you say around 80%, 50%, or maybe just 20%? By the end of this video, you'll discover three techniques that will improve your retention of what you learn on YouTube or from any other resource. And please, Share with us the techniques you use and that work for you. Let's start and make learning stick, guys. Technique number one, explain the lesson to somebody in your native language. In the pyramid of learning theory, teaching others is considered the most effective way to learn with a retention rate of 90%. On the other hand, the audiovisual method of learning, such as watching videos, typically results in a retention rate of around 20%. So you can make an incredible leap from 20% to 90% by teaching the lesson to someone else. You can do this by using your own words in your native language, but in the way that even a child would understand. This is the key to solidifying your understanding and retention, guys. If you don't have anyone who would listen, there are a couple of options you can try. You can explain the lesson out loud to yourself in your native language or to your dog or cat. You got me. You can also summarize the lesson in your native language in the comments section under the video you watch. Have you ever noticed, guys, how some people summarize the content of YouTube videos in the comments? This is it. They do it to retain what they just learned. The second thing you can do is create a mind map immediately after watching a video. For those who don't know what mind map is, I show you an example from the web. I like this one. It's a mind map about French conditionnel mood. So basically, as you can see, it's an overall picture of a subject, topic, concept, where we have our central theme in the middle and the related information around. We write only the most important information using keywords and making connections between ideas visually. By focusing on key ideas about your topic and looking for connections between them, you can map knowledge in a way that will help you to better understand and retain information. By engaging in activities of distilling information, organizing it, and making connections between new knowledge and existing knowledge, you enhance your ability to retain information. Personally, I prefer making my mind maps on paper using different colored pens and pencils. Some people even use stickers and other things to make it more attractive and help their visual memory. I have students who prefer to use online tools and applications. There are plenty of them. So you can try both handmade and digital and choose what works better for you. But guys, I warn you, the point of a mind map is to distill and organize information according to your own logic. So don't rush to search and download mind maps created by others based on their logic. And also, it's incredibly beneficial to integrate new knowledge with what you already know. Let me share an example from my B1 group when we were learning about the subjunctive function of giving advice. My students linked this new knowledge to what they already knew. They not only added the new subjunctive function to their existing subjunctive mind map, but also incorporated it into their mind map of giving advice. Take a look here. They had already learned this in A1, this in A2, and this represents their new B1 knowledge. By doing this, they created a strong memory link between giving advice and subjunctive. Technique number three to memorize what you have just learned is to put the new knowledge into practice. There are two ways to do it, guys. Either incorporate it into your speaking or incorporate it into your writing. For this final step, you might not always have the opportunity to practice exactly what you learned or write something in your notebook that you might not have or not have with you. In such cases, once again, you can use the comment section of the video you watch. What's crucial here is to write things that are relevant to you. And instead of separate sentences, examples, it's much, much better, guys, to create a little story or dialogue. This way, the ideas are interconnected and relate to your own experiences. By doing so, you will also increase your retention rate. For example, if you watched a YouTube video explaining passé composé tense, you can do a mind map of past tenses, or you can do a separate mind map of passé composé, or both. What would be great? is to write a short story of what you did yesterday or last weekend or last vacations using passé composé, putting new grammar into practice, into relevant examples for you. And of course, explaining, transmitting the new knowledge to your imaginary child will greatly enhance your retention rate, guys. 
the three techniques mentioned are all rooted in one principle, guys, distilling and appropriating information. This principle is key to improving the retention rate. Let me know if you're already using any of these techniques and feel free to share other techniques that have worked for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Wishing you a great day, guys, and see you in my next video.